Dichu says, Bruce, in your opinion, what is a acceptable salary range for a new ISSM or ISO? So it really depends. That's a great question, by the way. It really depends on where you're at in the United States. And here's why I say that. Because if we type in ISO pay scale, ISO pay scale, watch this. They have a price range, but it really depends. What you'll notice is it kind of depends on what area you're in. And it also depends on what clearance you have, what's the organization. What you're seeing here is typical of somebody with experience, 130. And these are in Colorado, California, and I think this is Connecticut. What I want to see is the actual pay scale. Here it is. So the national average is over $100,000, $56 an hour. That's the national average. Now, what this doesn't factor in, I don't think, is how many years of experience the person has or if they have other additional certifications or things like that. National average. That's pretty good for a national average. Think about it because that takes into account all the way the high, the highest level of pay down to the lowest levels of pay. Let me see. Let me see if I can find some more. Okay. The national average in Colorado, where I'm at, the average is about 123, 123,000. And that's about right. That's about right. And then depending on how much more experience you have, it'll be more. And I could tell you that if you're in the Virginia area, this is kind of low, like 100 is kind of low, but I would say it's around this. This is about right. For somebody starting off from scratch, you might come in lower. If you have zero experience with it and you're coming in off, you know, like maybe you, you had some experience experience in the military or something like that. I could tell you my first job outside the military as an ISO, I had a bachelor's degree, but I didn't have the required certifications. They required a CISSP at the time and I didn't have one. So what they did was they just brought me in and said, look, you have X amount of time to get this certification. Can you do it? I said, yes. So they hired me at 60,000, 62,000, something like that, but which was very low. But keep in mind that this was like 15 years ago. So 10 years ago, I mean, that's quite a bit of a while. It's 2006. Anyway, yeah, it was like 14 years ago. So obviously the price has gone up. So let me give you a range. If you are a new ISO, a new information system security manager or information system security officer, we'll say officer first because manager is different. Manager is a whole different range. Let's say an information system security officer, the range is between, I want to say, depends on where you are in the United States, but I want to say it's going to be between about 70 and 100. That's about right for a new person. Now keep in mind, they know your value, especially once you start getting those certifications. So what you wanna do is, no matter what they're paying you, when you get in, get a certification, a Security Plus, a CISSP, a CISA, C-RISC. I would highly recommend a professional level security cert, like a CASP, a CISSP, a C-RISC, a CISA, one of those. Not easy certs, by the way, and they do cost you. But once you get that, you'll be able to switch to another position, new job somewhere as an ISO. Without that, they'll pay you to stay, and you'll be able to make over 115 at least 115 or, or more.